Today we're gonna discuss the Canon 70D and if it's still relevant in 2020. Let's get to it. What's up everybody and welcome to Top Shelf Media. So like I said, today we're taking a look at the Canon 70D and if it's still relevant in 2020. As a reminder, there'll be links down in the description to all the gear that I talk about, so go check those out if you're interested. Let's jump right in. Let's start out with just some information about this camera. It has 19 point dual pixel autofocus, which makes it a very reliable camera for vloggers and photographers. This camera has an ISO range of 100 to 12,800, but its noise reduction does leave a little bit to be desired in low light situations. The Canon 70D also has a three inch articulating touch panel LCD screen, which is great for composing and reviewing your images. And most of the menu operations can be done from this touch screen. Now the 70D can shoot in 1080. Its highest frame rate though at 1080 is 30 frames per second. You can get 60 frames per second, but that's gonna be at 720. Rounding out this camera, we have an internal microphone, a flash, and built-in Wi-Fi. Now, as far as internal microphones go, they're never usually very good, and same goes with this camera. Uh, it doesn't have a very good internal mic, so I would definitely pick up an exterior mic. I'm using the Rode video mic. They are, some of them are a little on the pricey side, but I think they're pretty good. Uh, as far as the flash goes, I've really never used the flash. Maybe a handful of times that I've used the flash. Uh, and then Wi-Fi, I usually use that if I'm using my phone to trigger my camera. So now let's talk price. At the time of recording this video, you can pick up a used Canon 70D body on Amazon for just under $535. And I think that's a great price for anyone who's doing this as a hobby or if you're just starting your photography and videography business. Like I've said in some of my other videos, this is the only DSLR that I have. So this is the camera I use for everything. And I know some of you are gonna say, well then how are you getting this B-roll of this camera? It's because I have a friend, Kyle, Iowa's photographer, who let me borrow one of his Canon bodies. Now, is this camera still worth it in 2020? And I would say the answer is yes and no. And that is a really shitty answer, I know. But it shoots great photos, it shoots 1080 video, and has the ability to plug in an external microphone, which makes this a great camera for beginners. But I do believe it's on its way out. Also, the color right out of this camera looks great. I'm actually not gonna color correct any of my talking head footage for this video. But now, let's look at the flip side. If you're looking at taking your videos to the next level, this camera's highest frame rate is 60 frames per second, and that's only at 720. Now let's compare that to something like the Canon M50, which is a mirrorless camera, but it can shoot 4K video at 24 frames per second, and it can shoot in 1080p up to 60 frames per second. It can get up to 120 frames per second at 720, which the camera automatically converts to a 30 frame per second slow-mo file. Now having all this, plus the ability to plug in an extra external microphone and the price point of $499 at the time of recording this video makes it a really hard camera to pass up to the point where it'll probably be my next camera that I purchase. And yes, you could go higher end getting the Canon 5D Mark IV or the Sony A7R IV, but at that point you're probably not a beginner and you're looking at investing a little bit more money into your business. Also, if you're willing to double your budget of the 70D, you could actually get the Canon 90D. All right, you guys, well, there you have it. Is the Canon 70D still relevant in 2020? Like I said, I'm still using this on a daily basis. Let me know down in the comments what you guys think about this topic. Like I said, there'll be links down in the description to all the gear that I talked about today. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to see more content from me. I'll put links to my most recent video as well as a video YouTube thinks you will like right up there. So go check those out. I hope you enjoyed this one and I will see you next time.